plane manufacturer Boeing has agreed to plead guilty to attempting to defraud the U.S. government. It's related to two deadly plane crashes back in 2018 and 2019. Joining me to talk about this plea deal is former federal prosecutor Rick Convertino. Welcome back, Rick. Always good to speak with you. Good evening, Shane. How are you? Doing well. So let's start with this deal and, and what these charges actually mean, what Boeing has actually agreed to. The charge is conspiracy to defraud the government. So what exactly does that mean for a mammoth company like Boeing? Uh, typically, uh, for a mammoth company like Boeing, it means absolutely nothing, quite honestly. It's uh, a violation of 18 United States Code, Section 371, which is a general conspiracy, which says that it's uh, illegal for two or more people to agree to uh, to uh, evade the law or break the law. In this case, uh, that would be a uh, connection with the Federal Aviation Administration's evaluation of the 737 MAC uh, airlines and information uh, that the the employees at Boeing had been aware of a certain particular part that was defective. They knew that this was defective. They were aware of the deficiencies in the part and they did not disclose that information. In fact, deceptively hid that information from the FAA. Uh, in turn, the Boeing uh, manuals that went out to all the pilots on the 737 MAXs did not include the information about the defective part, and that's what led to the two airlines doing nose dives 30,000 feet straight into the ground, killing 346 people. Um, so the the plea agreement is uh, deferred. It's a deferred prosecution agreement, and a deferred prosecution agreement basically says that if you comply with all the terms and conditions set forth under this agreement, that you can. Conclusion of the uh, of the, the uh, will be dismissed. So this is an absolute tragedy, I think, of justice and and uh, allowing uh, Boeing to plead guilty as a as a court accountable uh, for this, including the about the defective part from the FAA. Um, so I think it's uh, a, a based on this was this was done out of the, the fraud section, which is the main justice. In DC, so this was fly spec. This was fly spec by the Attorney General of the United States, who I think is feckless and weak, and I think it's a travesty of justice. To, uh, uh, and I hope the court uh, disallows this agreement to go forth. Well, I'm, I'm sure the victims' families would wholeheartedly agree. To be clear, uh, the company is pleading guilty here. No individuals will face any prosecution. Is that right? That's right. No individuals face any prosecution. There was an airline pilot, a uh, scapegoat who, who was prosecuted, indicted, went to trial and was acquitted. Um, and I think the reason he was acquitted was because he was uh, was seen by the jury that he was a scapegoat. Uh, but the individual employees all the way up the chain who were aware of this deception and fraud, uh, uh, who didn't disclose it to the F FAA during the course of their investigation, um, all should individually be prosecuted, I think, to the fullest extent of the law. In addition, uh, the the uh, terms of this agreement um, allow for uh, two point. It's a two point five billion dollar disgorgement uh, by Boeing. They have to pay two point five billion dollars, a penalty of two hundred forty seven thousand uh, dollars, compensation of one point seven billion dollars goes to the customers, and about five hundred million dollars goes. Uh, to a payout for the victims and the victims or the victims' family and their heirs, so uh, not a good day for the victims of this. Uh, good day for the customers of Boeing who who reap the benefits of this agreement, and a good day for Boeing uh, who have no accountability really, other than uh, the general corporate accountability, which will be uh, erased after the terms and conditions of this of this. Uh, of this uh, shitty plea agreement, uh, you know, come to fruition. Well, what do you expect to come from this down the line? I mean, will this impact the reputation of Boeing being such a household name, or or does that matter at this point? Well, they 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 were in the same predicament a couple of years ago, so I don't think it will damage the the reputation. I think uh, I think this is the kind of thing that's baked into the reputation of Boeing at this point. I think that you know Boeing chose profit over candor. 
uh, and and by doing so, um, you know, directly caused the death of 346 people. Uh, we have an attorney general, uh, Merrick Garland, who I think is extraordinarily weak. I think he's uh, um, not uh, one to stand up for for the individuals in this case, and I think he he sold them out. Um, an easy plea. It's a plea that uh, gives the prosecutors a lot of of uh, a lot of credibility and kudos and uh, and Boeing dodged a real bullet because they don't have to go to trial and all their dirty laundry be exposed in this case. Um, so for Boeing and the Department of Justice, big wins both uh, for the victims. Um, devastating loss. I mean, it's a, what, you know, you have about a million dollars, a little bit over a million dollars uh, for loss of life. I think it's pathetic. I think Boeing came out you know, smelling like roses along with the DOJ. Yeah. It's too bad. I hope the judge refuses to accept this plea. Certainly something I'm sure the victims' families would agree with, according to their lawyer, at least. Rick, thanks for helping to break down this plea deal. Uh, Rick Convertino, former federal prosecutor, always appreciate your time.